So here I'm told that in a village, the number of houses and the number of flats are in the ratio 7, 4. And we also are told that the number of flats and the number of bungalows are in the ratio 8 to 5. We are then told that there are 50 bungalows in the village and we're asked how many houses there are in the village. So with a ratio question like this, we're working with a couple of different ratios between a couple of different places. So it's a good idea to kind of get them all into the same place and write them out in a little bit of an easier way to comprehend and see instantly. So if I write out that we have houses to flats and we can see at the start of the question that this ratio is seven to four, so seven to four. And then here, I can see that we have flats mentioned again, but this time they're in a ratio with bungalows. So if I write this out beneath it, we have here flats in the same column as flats were before to bungalows. And then this ratio was eight to five. And since we're told that there are 50 bungalows in the village and we're working out how many houses there are, we're looking at the houses and bungalows here and we're going to be looking at the ratio between these and we can use the number of flats in each ratio to work out the ratio between the houses and the bungalows to then work out how many houses there are when there are 50 bungalows in the village. So here I can see that between the four flats and the eight flats in these ratios this ratio between houses and flats can be multiplied by two to get a ratio between houses and flats in which flats are going to be the eight here. So we can multiply this by two. Just multiplying up the ratio by a factor doesn't affect the ratio, it's just not in its simplest form anymore. So we can multiply both of these sides of the ratio up by two. And now I'm going to have an answer of 14 to 8. So the ratio of houses to flats 7 to 4 can just be rewritten as 14 to 8. And then we have the ratio of flats to bungalows 8 to 5. So now we can simply add in the bungalows which is still if when there's 8 flats there's 5 bungalows like so. So now we have a ratio of houses to flats to bungalows so 14 to 8 to 5. So then the ratio of houses to bungalows in this case we can just read off taking out the eight of the flats we have as 14 to 5 and we are told that there are 50 bungalows in the village and asked how many houses there are so now we can just scale up this ratio so if we have 14 to 5 and we want 50 bungalows we need to take this ratio and multiply it by a factor of 10 so we've done the bungalow side and now we're going to do the houses side and that's going to give us a ratio of 140 to 50. So when there are 50 bungalows in the village, there are going to be 140 houses. And there we've answered the question. So there are going to be 140 houses in the village. And we've got on the marks here, firstly, for working out this first ratio. So basically relating houses to bungalows in this ratio here. And then the second mark is going to be for multiplying it up by a factor of 10 to see how many houses there are going to be when there are 50 bungalows. And then the third mark is for stating the correct answer of 140 houses here in this instance.